Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw a Charmander versus Squirtle surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Squirtle versus Charmander surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper in half. So I'm just going to line up my corners and give it a nice fold right down the middle, just like I'm making a birthday card. Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it another fold right here, just like I'm making a big bookmark. Now, when I open this up, I have these nice little guidelines in here, and they show me where to keep the inside of my drawing at. Now, to start off with this, let's begin by drawing Squirtle. So, I'm going to start right about here at my fold. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a little line that's just going to curve up and over. Next, I'm going to make a big line that's just going to curve right around here, and it's going to come down. Now, starting here underneath the fold, I'm going to draw a little line that's going to come down and over like this. And then I'm going to bring this line over and then up to here. Now back here I'm gonna make a little line that's just gonna curve. And then under here I'm gonna make a little line that's just gonna curve a couple times and then come down. Same thing here, I'm gonna curve this just a couple times and then bring it down, just that same shape. Starting here, I'm going to bring this line down, and I'm going to put a couple little points on the end here, and bring it back up here for his arm. And then right here, I'm going to make a little line that curves down, and we'll bring it right down to here. Bring a line here, and then a line that curves here. I'm going to put a little dot here for the nose. And then we're going to make the eye. Now to draw the eye, I'm going to draw a line that comes up. I'm going to curve it around and bring it back down. And then I'll connect it to here. We'll add a curve here. We'll make an oval shape right here. And then I'm going to make another line that's just going to curve to here. Now, over here, we're going to draw Charmander. Now, to start off with Charmander, I'm going to begin right here, and I'm going to make a line that's going to curve up, and it's going to come back. Next, I'm going to bring this line up, and I'm going to bring it right back to here. Make a little line that's going to come down and over, and then a little line that's just going to come right over to here. And then I'm going to continue this all the way to here. Now, starting here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to come down and then back to here. And I'm going to make three little points on here. I'm going to curve this down and then bring it up to here for the arm. Next I'm going to bring this line down right to here and then we'll make another little curve line that comes right down here for the stomach. I'm going to put a little dot on here for the nose and then I'm going to make his eye. Now to draw the eye, I'm going to begin by making a line that's just going to curve up to here. And then I'm going to bring it back down. And I'm going to make a little line right underneath here. I'm going to make a line that comes down. Make an oval shape here. And then another line. It's going to go down and then up to here. 
And then I forgot I want to put an eyebrow on each one of them. Give them a little bit more of a serious look. Now, once we have this drawn, we're going to open it up and add some details on the inside. Once opened, we have our two halves of our Squirtle and Charmander. Now we're going to begin by drawing the inside. So I'm going to start right here with Squirtle, and I'm going to bring this line down and this line up. I want to make this line come up, and then I'm going to bring it over to here. And then this line, I'm going to bring it up, and I'm going to curve it up to here. Then this line, we're going to curve all the way down and connect. Now for Charmander, I'm going to bring this line down, and I'll bring this line up. I'm going to bring this line all the way across. And then I'll bring it down and connect to here. Now we want to add some of their attacks in here. So let's go ahead and start with Charmander. So we're going to make his fire attack. So I'm going to make some long kind of pointed curvy lines just like this. And then I'm going to make them kind of pointed and jagged here going down. Then I'm going to make these same kind of jagged pointy shapes on here to make it look like there's a lot of fire. Now with Squirtles, I'm going to make his come out and I'm going to make some little kind of pointed bumpy or some little bumpy lines. And then as I get to here, I'm going to make some big kind of wavy bumpy lines so it looks like there's water everywhere. I'm going to do the same thing here, just kind of make these wavy lines that connect. I'm going to add a couple little lines here and then a couple more wavy lines in here for some detail. And there you go, there is your drawing of Charmander versus Squirtle in a surprise fold. So when we have it all folded up, they're just looking at each other. And then once we open it, they're using their water and fire attacks after each other. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.